Yo, what is up guys? Today we are going to be working on the Miata. I'm going to be making a DIY skid plate. I got a big piece of sheet metal. It's, I think it's two foot by two foot. We're gonna put it under there because I'm starting to scrape on my subframe. So under here, it's just gonna come across and then angle up right here. Here's the piece of metal that I got. It's just 24 inches by 24 inches. And it's, uh, it's a little bit thicker than like say a regular stop sign in a sense, and this will just kind of help me from scraping directly on that. I'm gonna make my first mark and cut. I'm gonna do the width, so I'm gonna do like, like this side, and then we'll cut the length on the long ways. I forgot how loud that thing is. I'm gonna go get ear protection. That took way longer than I thought it was going to, but uh, the first cut was at 20 inches. That was for like the width. I'm gonna put it up, try to mock it up underneath there right now to kind of see where I want to um, cut the length. And then of course we're gonna have to bend up the front like I said. That'll actually be, actually I don't think I even need to cut it. I'm gonna make a tab so this will bend up a little bit over this and then it'll bolt right onto one of these. And then the front will get bent up, of course. So the length is actually like perfect for this. I'm gonna make a little tab here, a little, like make a slit and a slit. This part will bend up to go over that subframe brace and then the bolt holes will be here and here and I'll put bolt hole uh, there and there and this will bend, of course, up. So I'm gonna mark out the rest of the markings, what I need to do and where and then, uh, yeah, cut it. I cut both of the tabs across, right? And then I uh, made a little indentation so when we go to bend it, it'll be a little bit easier. I just knocked off the corners, so it's kind of a little bit cleaner look. And then up on the front, I also made a uh, just a little indentation so when we go to bend it it'll be a little bit easier and that's what we're going to do now bend those tabs over and then we can drill the holes and then hopefully test fit it it's not by any means perfect but like it's actually pretty close to like even across Press on the drill bits. Oh. I have all four holes now drilled. I had to drill them out smaller to bigger drill bits, but now the bolts just drop right in. So I'm gonna climb underneath, we're gonna bolt it up, and then see where we have to uh, drill for the front too. I have both of the front holes drilled in now, so I'm gonna put it under there and try to bolt it all up and test fit it. And then after that, we'll, if it fits right, we'll clean it all up and we'll, uh, we'll throw some paint on her. <laughs> she said, is that what you're doing? asking me if I'm buying a car to work on it. I said, yeah, and she goes, oh God. Ha, ha, ha. 
T's here. Dana's been here, but I don't think he, I don't know. But uh, skid plate is on. Skid plate is on. It's black, it's hard to see. Battery's dying, camera's dying. Skid plate is on. Thirty-eight bucks. So that was the DIY skid plate. Turned out pretty good. But before this video is over, there's good news that this man has. This Saturday, we driving down to Georgia to pick up a surprise. <laughs> it's just no. gonna be a surprise. <laughs> I mean, it could be a surprise. Big news. Wait till next video to find out what it is. Road trip. Yes, sir. Road trip. All the way to Georgia. Road trip vlog. 1990 NA Miata. 85,000 miles. 85 original. Yeah. yeah, 85 original miles. Can't can't go wrong. E30 in two years. Two, two years. <laughs> two years. Come on, two months. Two months. <laughs> two weeks. Tandem Miata content. Yeah. <laughs> Eventually. Eventually. Eventually, awesome. Look at that. Fat Tandem. Me, you, Keaton. There you go. Hell hey, yeah. I'll be in the back. <laughs> E30. Other than that, that is the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Um, that is it. Peace out.